holds a region of space where matter has condensed to such a high density that the gravity at its surface, the surface gravity, is so high that you cannot escape it, even at the speed of light. You are forever trapped. Black holes might be one of the most mysterious things found in our galaxy, and they've been the inspiration for countless sci-fi movies and books since their discovery. Scientists have been investigating them since their initial proposal by Einstein in 1915, and in March of 2023, their efforts were rewarded by finally seeing what's inside a black hole. Yes, you heard that right. After decades of attempts, we can finally see one of the clearest pictures of what a black hole actually looks like and what secret it hides inside. Before we dive into the details, I think it's important to discuss what a black hole actually is. I'm pretty sure you've heard about this multiple times and maybe have seen them try to suck in a spaceship or two, but allow me to explain further. To put it simply, black holes are areas of space in which a large quantity of mass is crammed into a small volume. This produces a gravitational pull so powerful that even light cannot escape. That's right, the same gravity that made an apple fall from a tree to allow Sir Isaac Newton to first propose the theory of gravity, but in the case of black holes, they are so strong they can suck in light. Currently, we think they are formed when huge stars collide, but there may be ways in which black holes are formed that we have yet to discover. Black holes intrigue both the general public and scientists because they test our knowledge of matter, space, and time. With the help of black holes, scientists around the world have made many discoveries about our universe, but there is still a lot we don't know about these incredible cosmic events. Despite being a big mystery, there are many black holes in the universe. Scientists have detected the signals of their collisions and taken photographs of the light from the gas swirling around them over the last decade, which has helped us learn a lot about the cosmos. For example, black holes have aided in the testing of Einstein's theory of general relativity, which defines how mass, space, and time interact. Scientists believe they can teach us a lot more about these and other fundamental laws of the universe. On a more personal level to everyone, the supermassive black hole at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy may have played a part in the formation of Earth. But what exactly does it look like? Well, we actually don't know, since they are invisible because they emit almost no light and cannot be observed directly. This is mainly because immense gravity draws all light into the black hole center. But throughout the years, experts were able to develop some very sophisticated ways for us to see black holes. So, how do we see something invisible? First, we have to look for the stuff that's falling in. This study was conducted by researchers at the University of Chicago, and they found that when matter falls into a black hole, it travels at such great speeds that it becomes hot and glows brightly, which we can see. Because of this, scientists plan to utilize this technology to learn a lot more about how and what black holes eat. Second, by seeing their gravity pulling on other things. The same study suggested that we can locate black holes by observing the movements of observable objects in their vicinity. Because the gravity of a black hole is so strong, neighboring stars will orbit around it. Thus, scientists mentioned how we take advantage of this pull and check for stars acting abnormally around a patch of empty space because there's a high chance that a black hole is sitting right there. This also allows us to calculate how massive the black hole must be. That's how Nobel winner Andrea Ghez and her colleagues discovered the supermassive black hole in the heart of our own galaxy. Third, by detecting the gravitational ripples when two black holes collide. Basically, the study suggests that we can identify black holes by sensing their movements and the ripples they produce. At the same time, using this method would allow us to deduce how enormous the black holes were, how far apart they were, and how rapidly they were moving when they collided with that signal. What's inside a black hole? While studies like the one from the University of Chicago are a big leap in the quest to take clear photos of a black hole, experts have yet to do that. Well, not until recently, when it was reported that scientists were finally able to take a peek at what's inside a black hole. In March of 2023, astronomers have released the first image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. This result gives compelling proof that the object is a black hole and provides vital insights into the workings of such massive objects which are assumed to reside at the center of most galaxies. 
The image was created by the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT Collaboration, a global research team that used observations from a global network of radio telescopes. Undeniably, these images are a long-awaited peek at the huge object at the heart of our galaxy. Previously, scientists observed stars orbiting something invisible, compact and huge at the center of the Milky Way. This strongly indicated that the object, dubbed the Sagittarius A star, was a black hole. And today's photograph gives the first direct visible evidence of it. Although humans cannot see the black hole because it is completely dark, incandescent gas around it gives telltale signs that it exists. A dark central region referred to as a shadow, encircled by a light ring-like structure. The new vision catches light distorted by the black hole's tremendous gravity, which is 4 million times more massive than our sun. The breakthrough follows the EHT Collaboration's 2019 release of the first image of a black hole, called M87, at the center of the more distant Messier 87 galaxy. And lo and behold, the two black holes look remarkably similar, even though our galaxy's black hole is more than a thousand times smaller and less massive than M87. We have two completely different types of galaxies and two very different black hole masses, but close to the edge of these black holes, they look amazingly similar says Sura Markov, co-chair of the EHT Science Council and a professor of theoretical astrophysics at the University of Amsterdam, the Netherlands. This tells us that general relativity governs these objects up close and any differences we see further away must be due to differences in the material that surrounds the black holes. Another study was released last February which also suggests that there's a possibility of seeing more. This was possible after a new model, based on gravitational waves discovered over 10 years ago, suggested what was going on inside those mystery objects. The new work may someday aid us in understanding what happens when they merge, which is possibly the most spectacular and extreme occurrence known in the cosmos. Here's how experts did it. In 2015, gravitational waves were discovered for the first time. Scientists employed massive and sophisticated equipment to observe the wobbles in space-time that occur when black holes collide, causing disruption that reverberates throughout the universe. Basically, a space-time is a mathematical paradigm that combines three spatial dimensions and one time dimension into a single four-dimensional manifold, and these diagrams can be used to depict relativistic phenomena such as why different observers interpret events differently depending on where and when they occur. However, it's a different case for black holes. This is because a black hole is an area of space-time in which gravity is so powerful that nothing, not even light or other electromagnetic waves, can escape. But scientists were able to come up with ways that made detecting black holes possible. Since then, astronomers have identified nearly 100 merging black holes via gravitational waves that have propagated throughout the universe. Scientists compare the procedure to shaking a box and trying to figure out what's inside by listening to the sound that comes out. In this scenario, the shaking is caused by the collision of two black holes, and the sound is caused by the study of the gravitational waves they release. These measurements were used in the new study to improve models of cosmic occurrences. Scientists should be able to map the structure of what is happening inside and test how Einstein's theory of general relativity holds up in extreme conditions. Until recently, scientific models relied on linear interactions. They perform well, but have limitations because they do not account for other types of behavior. And recent research on non-linear interactions could enhance models by up to 10%. It will also help scientists discover additional colliding black holes in the future. This is a significant step toward preparing us for the next phase of gravitational wave detection, which will deepen our understanding of gravity and these incredible phenomena occurring in the far reaches of the cosmos," said co-author Macarena Lagos. Because of the pandemic, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, the observatory that initially identified gravitational waves, has been offline since 2020. However, new techniques will be activated in the future that may identify additional black holes in greater detail. While the images of the black holes are not as clear as we want them to be, the point still stands. Science and experts have made massive progress, and who knows, we might be able to see what a black hole really looks like in the near future.